If um, Port Arthur is at a loss for words, they're trying to cope with the loss of their loved one taken way too soon. 24 year old Irving Canela was killed by an accused drunk driver on Highway 73 at the end of October. Just this morning, a warrant was issued for this man, Raleigh, Daniel Raleigh rather. DPS troopers received Raleigh's official blood alcohol content test results, which proved he was intoxicated the night he crashed into Irving. Just hours ago, Raleigh was arrested at his home in Pearland. He's charged with intoxication manslaughter. His bond set at $100,000. But Raleigh is facing more than just criminal charges. Irving Canela's family has hired a lawyer and they're filing a civil suit. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert met with the family and their lawyer to find out what they're seeking. Cam? Yeah, guys, Irving will never again get to take his little sister to a concert. He's never going to come home to ask mom what she made for dinner. And he's never again going to go to an Astros game with his dad. His family can't bring him back, but they plan to fight for justice. What are you thinking about? ¿Qué es lo que estás pensando? En mi hijo. No. Lydia Diaz is struggling to find words to describe her pain. Five weeks ago, she lost her only son, 24-year-old Irving Canella. Why? Why Irving? He was a good guy. He had a lot ahead of him. He had a lot to do. Why my son? He was 24 years old. Irving was driving along Highway 73 when Daniel Clayton Raleigh of Pearland collided head-on with his car. According to DPS investigators, Raleigh was driving the wrong way. A blood sample revealed his blood alcohol content at 0.244, three times the legal limit. The Canella family remembers two versions of Irving. Happy Irving, smiling ear to ear, and determined Irving, working out at the gym, pushing himself. He cared a lot about people, especially his friends, family, to keep it everybody else before him. Uh, I have hundreds of cases in my docket and, and this may be the most important one. The Canellas hired Javier Cabanillas with Ferguson Law Firm. He's representing them in a civil suit. This case is especially difficult for Cabanillas. He coached Irving's soccer team and watched him grow up. He was the go-getter of the team. He's the one that after the game was over rounded up the equipment with us. The family is suing for one million dollars in damages, but what they really want are answers. We don't know where this individual was coming. We don't know where he was going. Where was the gentleman with 0.244 blood alcohol content at before the wreck? I just want there to be justice, that he gets what he deserves because he was drunk, and it wasn't fair what happened to Irving. While the family holds on to the memory of their loved one, they say they won't stop fighting for justice. And again, finally, some good news coming for the Canella family. Their son's alleged killer is now behind bars. He will have to face a judge, and they will be getting their chance at justice. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.